The Allegheny County Health Department says a weather inversion could be to blame for that strange smell so many people are talking about. Now, I spoke with officials at the Neville Chemical Company, and they say they did have an incident where a chemical was released, but they're still looking into if that's what caused the odor. A strange smell flowing in the air around 4.30 this morning, reaching Neville Island, McKees Rocks, and other areas. I had friends calling to check on me. Apparently, there was some crazy smell in the air. The Allegheny County Health Department is investigating to determine a source. The vice president of manufacturing for Neville Chemical Company, Dan Kokoski, says the plant had an incident with one of the packaging vessels and a chemical was released that has a sweet hydrocarbon type odor. He also says the smell didn't match up to what some people reported. So they're working with the health department to figure out if the smell came from the plant. It was a burnt type of rubbery. You can tell it was like a, some type of chemical. So I was kind of alarmed. I didn't know whether, you know, we should just flee the house or because it was fluent all through the house as well. Emergency dispatchers say the odor does not pose any risk. It's just an irritant. Growing up on Neville Island, I mean, half of it's residential and then half of it is all industrial stuff. So with all the plants down there, you know, there's coal and metal and used to be a dog food company. There's always been weird smells over here. But many people are still worried, especially for children who may suffer from respiratory illnesses. Bill Kennelly's daughters have asthma. There's a lot of young people up there that you sort of wonder about, you know. So we just hope for the best. It's a little bit concerning. You don't know what, you know, is going into the air. We're all concerned about the air we breathe already, so it's just kind of another thing on top of it. The Allegheny County Health Department continues to monitor air quality in this area. Reporting on Neville Island, Chandy Chapman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.